Hi guys, today's going to be a video about a very specific topic which is social media. I know obviously in this day and age a lot of us are aspiring to be influencers or have online businesses or just you maybe you just want to gain a million followers just for the sake of it, uh, maybe earn a bit of extra money or just have the following, you know. Whatever your reason may be, hopefully this video helps. I have a few tips and advice and obviously as you can see and as my followers might know, my subscribers might know, you know, I'm not social media famous or I'm not like a professional full-time influencer with, you know, my full success and goals reached yet, but I have increased a lot over the past few months. Um, you know, my views are increasing on YouTube, subscribers, like I've had a massive blow up recently on my channel as well as on my Instagram. So I do feel somewhat qualified to share my tips with you guys because I have seen the results of my own work, my own affirmations, they are working. Even if it's only a little bit day by day, I see that growth and that is more than enough proof and it is more than enough, you know, to, for it to work step by step. So please do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this, if you'd like more specific topics for law of assumption affirmations and general advice, do let me know and just subscribe because I have much more comment content coming in. And I also offer a little coaching service. The information and extra content is all on my Instagram page, LOA Coaching. So do go check it out if you're interested. I will I'll also offer one-on-one -on -one help through there. So take a look if you'd like more information. Now let's get started. I, as always, have my notes on my phone to keep this a bit more structured. And as I said, it's all about social media success and I'll give you guys my own specific affirmations. So I mainly only use YouTube and Instagram and those are the platforms that I work on the most where I'm focusing my, my attention mainly. And those are where I want that, you know, professional long-term growth. So I affirm that I'm the most successful YouTuber ever and that I'm the most successful Instagrammer ever. And I combine these two at the same time. So I'll say one and then the other and just loop them over and over for about five minutes. I like to set a timer for five minutes when affirming. So that's the, those are the two that I specifically affirm. So whatever, you know, whatever platform it is you're using, whatever specifically you want, if you don't know, but you want to work online, you want some kind of, um, you know, social media growth in general, you can just say I'm the most successful social media influencer ever, whatever, like whatever wording it you want to use, you could say influencer because yeah, that kind of encompasses any platform and it just means, you know, you have influence online because you have a huge following, right? So those affirmations are really amazing. They've worked for me. From the moment I started saying them, I started seeing positive growth. Very rarely did I kind of uh, stagnate in my growth or go backwards. Sometimes a little bit, the numbers would fluctuate, but that's natural and normal. The more you grow, the less you'll even notice it. But overall, definitely massive positive results. And yeah, I didn't give up. I knew it would work and I knew I didn't want to give up on it. So I just kept going. And that's another ma major tip. Just don't give up. It can take a while. It can take time, especially because your own subconscious deeper beliefs may be programmed to those negative mindsets for years and years whatever from whatever cause it may be maybe you've been on instagram i don't know seven years now and you've not gained a following at all it's you're still a very small influencer that may be ingrained in your mind quite heavily so just give it time keep working on it keep um you know saturating your mind with these new affirmations and new thoughts so yeah, just don't give up. Whatever wording works for you, it doesn't have to be successful. You can use the word lucrative, highest earning, like whatever your specific goal is, popular. Like you can say whatever wording feels natural and best to you. I personally like success because that obviously implies monetary success, popularity, respect, a good following, you know, all of it in one. You're just successful, right? So then next point is you can also use a tool of visualization. So visualize the notifications being on your phone or your laptop. So by that, I mean, just maybe close your eyes or yeah, however it is that you feel most comfortable and it's easiest for you to visualize, that's the method I recommend. So for me, I might just sometimes close my eyes for five seconds or 10 seconds and just visualize my phone blowing up with notifications, just tons of Instagram follows, comments, likes, um, you know, YouTube, Twitter, whatever it may be, 
or yeah, however the notifications may come through on your um, you know chosen preferred social media platform, that's where you can visualize just getting millions. And on YouTube, you can imagine you know going clicking into YouTube, and then in that top right hand corner, you see nine plus for the you know when you get loads of notifications and just a huge list of new subscribers, new subscribers, comment, comment, comment. So just do a little visualize visualization like that. It shouldn't take long. Should be pretty simple. You know what it looks like in your mind. You You've had these notifications before, now just amplify it by a hundred. So try a little visualization technique and you know, whether it's on your phone or your laptop, whatever means you, you know, whatever means you use to use that social media network, if that makes sense, that's the tools you want to be visualizing about. So next point is another thing to do with visualizing and kind of similar to having a vision board is making the background of your phone, your lock screen, your laptop background, whatever it may be, making that to your desired outcome. So let's say for the example of Instagram, I think that's where most of us would be focusing our attention. That's probably the main platform people want to be successful on. Then you, what you could do is make a, you could Photoshop or Facetune. Um, I'm pretty good with that. So I've made like a bunch of my vision board pictures of like my most ultimate desired outcomes for Instagram, just crazy, crazy numbers. And you can make it realistic if you want to build up step by step. If that's what's easiest for you and you think that works best, do that. You could do, you know, 10 new followers as a notification and put it as your background. Or you can literally go to the end result, be like a million followers, five million followers, just like, yeah, edit or Photoshop, whatever it may be, your, um, a screenshot of your Instagram page and then change the numbers to what you want them to look like. Or a picture you've just posted and, you know, edit the number of likes you have, whatever it may be. You can also just use a generic picture online of your desired outcome. A lot of people have uploaded these things and you know of notifications and you can just have that on your phone like a hundred new followers a hundred comments whatever it may be and so you're looking at it day in day out and it also helps to do um alongside looking at that and just seeing that subconsciously going into your mind you can also out loud say to yourself wow i'm so glad that's my followers like literally this is a screenshot of my exact notifications. I get this many every day. Just like say, speak to yourself in that way, like reaffirm to yourself that this is true, this is your reality, it's not a Photoshop picture, it's literally your actual results. Um, you know, and that's a form of affirming. So you're kind of combining the both, getting that visual element along with creating new thoughts in your mind. So final point, and I this is probably one of the most important in terms of being able to persist and not cause a delay, not move backwards, not spiral and you know become negative about not seeing results is to only check for results when you feel inspired or when you're in a positive mindset. So basically, if you're feeling really good, you're like, yes, I believe in this, like I'm having a really good day, I'm a master at manifesting, of course it's working, like I've already seen this, this and this happen, then, then you can absolutely check for results because you're less likely to spiral or think negatively um, and you're more likely to even see positive results because you're already thinking positively, right? Or if you do get that inspired action, which I can do a whole video on inspired action if you guys want and that might actually be my next topic. But basically, if you just get this sudden urge or idea like, oh, let me just check, like I have a good feeling, like I'm feeling excited, I'm sure I'll see something positive, that could be a good idea and a good time for you to check the 3D. You don't have to at all, but like I said, I think we all do. It's just a habit, it's natural, it's hard to stop yourself from wanting to check, right? Like, is it here yet? How many new followers do I have? That sort of thing. Um, how's my new picture doing? You can, but just make sure you're able to handle whatever results you see, whether it's through mental diet, by flipping any negative thoughts that come up, you know, reminding yourself that it's coming, it's happening, um, you know, reaffirming the end results and just staying in a positive mindset, not spiraling to negative thoughts. You can check for results as often as you want. So I do that now, but that's because I've got, gotten into a habit of knowing that at certain points throughout the day, at least a couple times a day, I will see positive growth, I'll see new likes, 
I'll see new subscribers. Um, you know, you can check your analytics when you're feeling good about it. So those are all my kind of top tips and advice and steps, whatever method you, whatever, like, what's the word? Whatever, um, I can't remember, okay. I've lost the word that I'm trying to say, but basically you don't have to follow it step by step. You can, you know, visualize and then affirm and then check for results or whatever it may be, whatever routine you want to take, you can, you know, the final step for you is maybe putting a screensaver of the desired outcome. However you want to do it is what will work for you best because you need to make sure that it feels natural to you. It's only going to work, you know, to the highest, most optimum level if you're doing what feels comfortable and natural to you. You can't follow what someone else says like a robot because some of my affirmation wording might not be right for you. But I think generally speaking, the tips I gave are pretty much what anyone would recommend. And, you know, you can also use subliminals voice recordings, listening overnight, that sort of thing. But as long as you're using positive affirmations and wording and thinking, like literally just thinking thoughts that align with what it is you want, you can't go wrong. So hopefully those tips helped you guys, gave you some clarity. Maybe you're already doing all these things and you're definitely on the right track. Please do let me know your thoughts and comments below, any other recommendations for videos you wanna see. Do thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.